Okay. I am live. And hopefully everything is working great. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. Comment if you can see me, if you can hear me, because this is the first time that I have ever done this. So I would love your feedback. And for the people that are here, I would love to know where you are watching from. So just give me a hello, give me a hi, so that I know everything's working. Hello, Emily. Thank you for joining. Darling Emily. All right. Give it just a hot second. See if anybody comes on. Good evening. Hello, M. Nell. Diana B. Hello, hello. Great to see everybody. Hi, Kim. Nice to see you. Wonderful. Marlene from South Carolina. Great. I want to know where everyone's from. I have a global channel. I've had people comment from all over the place. It's awesome. Emily's from Minnesota. I knew that. Emily is my gorgeous daughter. M. Nell's from Florida. I am here in Waco, Texas. Diana B. is from Southern Oregon. That's awesome. Welcome to my quilting studio. Hello from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Luis. Lu Louise. Welcome, Louise. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm glad that everyone's here. Kim is from Illinois. I'm originally from Illinois. Where in Illinois are you from, Kim? This is great. My family is from East Central Illinois, originally. That's how I know how to pronounce the word Illinois. Well, I'm glad that we're here. I'm glad that we're here. So this is my first live that I've ever done. And so I was really worried that everything would not, you know, everything would work. I was unsure, but I'm glad that everything's working. I'm glad that you can hear me. Oh, Uzbekistan. I can't pronounce your name, but I am so happy that you're here. Welcome. Welcome. Moline, I know exactly where Moline is. That is West Central Illinois. The Quad Cities, right? I think they're Quad Cities. Moline, Decatur. I can't remember the other ones. My Illinois geography is not great. All right. Well, thank you for joining again. Uh, behind me is the most recent tutorial of the quilt that I did and thank you all for your huge support on that tutorial that that was a fun quick project to do and it was super fun um oh I've got Ferdinanda van der Vekens from Belgium welcome welcome so nice to have you here that's awesome Ferdinanda what a beautiful name so I've got this quilt I just quilted it and it was super fun to quilt. I just quilted little little water spouts, like confetti explosions in every square. So that was super fun. I used a minty green thread, so it kind of it kind of blended into some, and then it stands out very nicely on some other ones. So that was pretty fun to do. I quilted that in a day yesterday. It was pretty easy. It was fun. I love quilting my quilt. And oh, here's the back. Here's the back that I chose. It's pretty wide backing, but it's pretty awesome too at the same time. Okay, let me get that back up there. So, what's everybody working on right now? What's your favorite part about quilting? That's what I want to know. 
is what what is it about quilting that is your zen thing like why do you quilt thank you debbie it turned out really nice so tell me about your zen quilting like what is it about quilting that keeps you quilting hamilton ontario canada welcome linda i'm so glad that you're here so glad that you're here for me quilting is my happy place like i just feel so happy and relaxed when I'm being creative and I'm when I'm when I'm making something when I'm putting something together and that's really the whole reason I started my channel was because I just wanted to share that creativity with other people and I want other people to I want to inspire other people to express their creativity too and Diana B says I love designing and figuring out how I'm going to put the quilt together that is my thing too for sure i love that part of it and my, my my that's my favorite part is designing it and just seeing how everything comes together and doing the machine the free motion quilting on my machine i love that part too the colors and how they work together marlene says definitely definitely and all my quilts seem to be really colorful like i can't remember the last time i did a quilt that had muted colors because that's there's so many options in fabric and everything like that out there so that's it's just huge designing quilts for my loved ones yes ma'am debbie for sure that is yeah designing and and designing for me is most of the time i'm using graph paper or yeah most of the time it's just graph paper I did buy the EQ8 program, but I just find that I never use it for anything. That was like one purchase that I thought I just had to have it. I thought I needed it. Never use it ever. It was just I shouldn't have, I should not have paid for it. Sharon from Northern Virginia, quilting is my happy place. Yes, yes. It makes me happy. And what do you listen to when you're quilting? Do you listen to the radio? Do you listen to podcasts? Do you watch TV while you're quilting? I'm interested to know that too, what you do. Oh, so many people from all over. I love it. I love it. Yeah, quilting is our happy place. And, it, and it's a great hobby and, it's a, and it's, it is an expensive hobby. That's for sure. But it's so worth it. I think. But I was saying I just want to inspire people to be creative and sometimes sometimes it's hard to be creative and share and listen to TV. Yeah, it's hard to watch and listen while you're quilting. I um I listen I mostly listen to music or or a couple podcasts that I listen to too. Sharon listens to me. Thank you, Sharon. I love you. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, the reason I am doing this live is because in 2023, and by the way, Happy New Year, everybody. But in 2023, I am expanding my channel. And Diana B says, I love listening to Christian Rock Pop or have a show on for sure. Absolutely. I'm expanding my channel in 2023. And I am introducing memberships to my channel because I want to form a tribe. I want to form a tribe of quilters. And so down below this live feed, right next to the subscribe button, there is a join button. Uh, Do Yoder, I listen to music and podcasts and YouTube videos. Do is uh, one of my super fans. Do comments on a lot of my. Um, a lot of my my tutorials and I love that thank you for your support I appreciate that and I try to get back to all the comments I try to I really try hard to at least at least give it a like or a heart or something but I try to respond to all of our comments so I appreciate your support thank you very much um, so anyway I'm expanding and I am I'm introducing memberships to my channel so this is something that you can um, 
you can, it's a way to support my channel. And let me see, I'm going to bring up the, let me see if I can find it. I'm going to bring up the, the memberships and what you get if you choose to become a member. Now, this is completely 100% optional. If you choose not to become a member, that's perfectly fine. I'm still going to put out the same content that I'm putting out now. And I have trouble talking and, and figuring things out at the same time, obviously. So let's see. Let's get into my... I want to explain the memberships. Okay, here we are. So, if you choose to become a member, there are three different tiers of memberships. And again, this is totally optional. I don't want to pressure anybody to do this, but it really helps to support me and my channel. And it keeps me, uh, keeps me in fabric. And you can all you can all relate to needing to be in fabric and have fabric. So there's three different tiers to memberships. And I the first tier is called a Revelation Quilts fan. It's $2.99 a month. And for that, you will get loyalty badges that show up in the chat and in the live streams like we're, we're doing now. You will have a little badge by your name that will identify you as a member. You'll also get special emojis that you can use. And... You will, we will do members only live streams like this. So we'll just get together and we'll chat and we'll have a good time like we are now. And then if for that $2.99 also, you'll get early access to all of my tutorials. So before they go out to the general public, you will see them three days before I make them public. So they will just go out to my members first. And then three days later, they will go out to my general public. Now the next tier that is available is the $6.99 a month tier and you get all of the perks that I just mentioned earlier but you will also be uh, be granted membership to the Revelation Quilters Facebook group and that is only for members that are um, the $6.99 or above and then so we're just going to get together we're going to share pictures we're going to talk we're going to it's a, it's a Facebook group and a messenger group. So we will have access to both of those things. And then when I write patterns, you will have free access to all of those patterns, digital patterns. So um, if and when I write patterns, they automatically will have access to those that you can digitally download those. If you're not a member, um, I will charge for those. So that is a perk of the $6.99 plus all the perks of the $2.99. So you'll get all of that. The, the last membership uh, option is the $19.99 membership option, and that is the Quilt Guild Inner Circle. And for that $19.99, you will get all the perks of the bottom two tiers, plus we will do weekly Zoom calls, we will do group projects, events, challenges, we'll give each other photo, photo and status updates, um, I will feature the quilts you make from my tutorials on my YouTube channel. So that'll be super fun. And then you and I will get to connect on social media. And so that will be kind of um, the real tribe, the inner circle tribe. We will become family. So those are the three tiers. And if you're a member of the, the 1999 tier, you will automatically get the, get the benefits and features of the bottom two tiers too. So that is really uh, what the membership thing is all about. And again, it is 100% completely optional. I do not want to pressure anybody into becoming a member because, you know, everybody's on a limited budget and I totally get that. And so this is just an opportunity for me to get to know you better and an opportunity for you. Um, Gerken Carino says, I appreciate your creativity and videos. I always enjoy watching your videos and I'm excited about expanding your channel. Happy to help keep you in fabric and look forward to your next content. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And so, um, yeah, so that's exciting for me. And it took me a long time to make this decision to do the memberships, but this is what I do for a living. So um, having this YouTube channel is is how this is my job and I love my job like how much better can my life be 
that I can do what I love for a living. Like, I don't know how many people can say that. And so I, I can't even picture myself retiring from this because I love doing it so much until I can't see anymore or until my fingers don't work anymore. I think then, then I'll probably have to stop. But for now, I just absolutely love what I'm doing. And I'm excited that I have the opportunity to do this for a job, to do this for a living. So I'm putting all my eggs in this basket because I just love it so much. It's my passion. And I love inspiring others to be creative. And that is just so exciting for me. And so um, everybody has a different, different thing that they're creative with. Um, my daughter, Emily, who's on this chat, she's one of my moderators. She is an amazing woodworker. Like who would have thought that a kid that came out of me is a woodworker, but she is, and she does, um, she makes amazing furniture. I'm, I think she should start a YouTube channel too. But uh, I just, I just wanted also to use this opportunity to say that I just appreciate everyone's support so much. Like the support has honestly been overwhelming and my channel has grown by leaps and bounds. I just try to present everything in a real no-nonsense way and I normally don't talk this much so it's weird that I'm talking so much but I just am I just am excited I guess so but I want to hear more of what's going on with you and your quilting life right now so what kind of projects are you working on right now that's what I want to know and and when do you do most of your quilting do you do it during the day do you do it at night like just tell me something about yourself because i really want to know i want to have a conversation i don't want to have it just be me talking to you so tell me tell me what's going on with your creative world and your quilting journey what's your favorite part of quilting and what's your least favorite part about quilting my least favorite part I'm not a fan of the sandwiching. I'm a project manager, and on Fridays when I work from home, I sew between meetings. That's good. That's good. I hate sandwiching. Like that, to me, that is just so tedious. Is sandwiching, and I'm a pin baster, so I tried all the other kinds of basting. I tried the the spray. I tried the fusible batting, which is expensive. I tried the um, the powder. Nothing works for me. I just went back to the old fashioned pinning. That just works the best for me. What else is going on? Um, the yeah. So sandwiching is my least favorite part. Binding. I don't mind binding because it generally goes pretty fast. But again, my favorite part is designing, piecing, and does not a sandwich fan either. I wish I could hire somebody to sandwich all my quilts for me. That would be awesome. Like I need a grandkid to come and live with me and like, hey, time to sandwich. Go sandwich this. Diana B says she quilts throughout the day. She's working on a block that she came up with for a red and white quilt. Ooh, I love red and white quilts. Those look amazing. I think my favorite colors together are like black, red, and white. Those look cool together. Um Piecing and, and machine quilting are favorite, my favorite. Debbie says, I can't do it on the floor anymore, so I have to find a big table or a wall. For sandwiching, is that what you're talking about? I have this table, and that works pretty good for sandwiching because as I pull it along the table, it straightens out the wrinkles. Like as it, as it goes over the fold, it works out pretty good. Yeah. And this table's nice because it's adjustable height-wise. Yeah, and it's on wheels, so I can roll it around. It's pretty nice. Kim is working on her first mystery quilt and loving it. So that's pretty awesome. I have never done a mystery quilt. And I think it's, I don't know. I just never have. I've never committed to that, I guess. So that's, but it's a very cool idea. I think I do want to do one someday. Drink break. A stuffed dinosaur from a panel. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is adorable. I saw on my local quilting group on Facebook. Uh, I'm a member of the Texas Quilting Group on Facebook. 
and uh, <laughs> and I saw these little stuffed cows. They were so cute. I've never made little stuffed animals before. Emily wants to know what a mystery quilt is. So um, can somebody explain what a mystery quilt is to Emily? Cheryl is from Texas. First time watching. Love what I see. Hi, Cheryl. I'm also in Texas. I'm in Waco. Beautiful Waco. Oh, Debbie, you have the cow panel too. Those are adorable. Like, I would like to see one of those made. Like, if you make that, will you um, will you send it to my Facebook page, please? If you're on Facebook. Um, oh, Stitch in Heaven. Yes. Joanna, finished my first mystery quilt today from Stitch in Heaven. Awesome. I'm from Brazil. Oh, hola. Como esta? Very nice. Brazil. I don't know any Portuguese, but I'm learning Spanish. Yes. So a mystery quilt is when, and correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, a mystery quilt is, yes. Uh, gearcan has got it right there. Emily, do you see that? So um, they send some pre-cut pieces and instructions on how to sew them together. So you get like one block at a time. And then when, when it's all done, you just end up you put the, all the blocks together. So you really, you don't get a picture of what it looks like before you sew everything together, basically. That's what a mystery quilt is. Estobem obrigada. Canton, Utah. Hello, Rose. I think I've seen your name before, Rose. Yes. Oh, you're in Granbury. Yes, you're very close to me. Yeah, very good. I'm in Texas with a Minnesota accent. <laughs> I just said, yeah. <laughs> I've been teaching my two granddaughters to quilt. One of them just got her first sewing machine. She's so excited. The other one is working on her first large quilt and doing very well. That's awesome. How old are your granddaughters, Diana? Kathy, welcome from Davenport, Florida. You should talk to Emily. Emily wants to move to Florida. Combine two of my favorite things, reading and sewing, and listen to audiobooks while piecing. Oh, that's awesome, Cynthia. Yeah, that's a good idea. I've done that, too. I I have done that, too. I haven't got, um, I haven't found any books I've wanted to read lately, although I have, like, eight credits I need to use on Audible right now. <laughs> Gherkin, yeah, you betcha, yeah. Yeah, Emily's in Minnesota too. I'm originally, um, well, not originally from Minnesota. I'm originally from Illinois, but my family moved to Minnesota when I was in seventh grade. So I spent from seventh grade up until about eight years ago in Minnesota. Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Julie. I'm so happy that you're here. Minnesota. Yeah, we lived in, um, I grew up in Burnsville. I went to Burnsville High School, which is a southern suburb of Minneapolis. Um, and if you all have any questions for me, just ask, because I'm an open book. I will answer um, any questions. Debbie's from Minneapolis. Hello, Debbie, Minneapolis. We've got some Minnesota girls. All right. Grants Pass, Oregon. Grants Pass, Oregon. Isn't that where, uh, you know, isn't that where, what's her name is from? The other quilt stop lady? Jordan, Jordan Fabrics, isn't that Grants Pass? Love Minnesota, grew up there. Donna Jordan, yes, that's right. I watch her videos all the time. I like the way she does her tutorials too. Just doesn't beat around the bush, just gets it done. Very good. Sorry about that. Does anybody have any questions for me? The Jordans are wonderful people, love them. You know, um, is Grants Pass a, a big town or a little town? Um, is it the kind of town where everybody knows each other? Um, I'm interested in that. Here in Waco, of course, we have Chip and Joanna Gaines, and um, they are lovely people. From what I know and from what I've seen, I've never met them. But uh, that's kind of what Waco is famous for now. Um, from Merrill. Merrill, where in Illinois are you from? I moved from the Twin Cities 
in Illinois to the Twin Cities of Minnesota. Oh, I'm originally from Watsika, Illinois, which is about 85 miles straight south of Chicago. And it's just about like 10 or 12 miles from the Indiana border. So it's just a, a small town. It's south of Kankakee, Illinois, which is a little bigger of a town. And that's where I was born. Uh, Joanna Dick, uh, Duke says uh, her mother-in-law is, is from Minneapolis. She came to Brazil as a missionary 63 years ago. She's now 95 years old. Wow. Wow. This quilt, no, this quilt, um, uh, Julie, this quilt is is the, my most recent tutorial. It's sitting on my table. Um, I just got it quilted, so I just need to, to bind it. I'm going to do a tutorial on the binding, but I'm going to do a, a flange binding, so I'm going to do a tutorial on that. Rose, yes, I love piecing. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It was super fun to make. That's my most recent tutorial. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's called Confetti. And I think I just uploaded it maybe two days ago. It was super fast, super easy, and you don't need a pattern for it. And speaking of patterns, I want to talk about patterns for example, for a, for a second. Um, I know a lot of people ask me about patterns. and I I think I've only made one or two quilts ever from a pattern. And so I am currently learning how to write a pattern. And I I just I have I don't want to make a quilt that is exactly like someone else's quilt. So I know like I have um parents, my mom and my mom's friends they they make a lot of quilts from patterns and sometimes they even use the exact same fabric that's in the pattern and and i'm not going to give them any shade if that's how they want to do it that's awesome but i want my quilts to all be unique and even if you make a quilt from one of my tutorials you're still using your own fabric and i always encourage everybody to twist those blocks around you know just make it your own if you want to make it bigger if you want to make it smaller just make it your own somehow use a different color for the border use different size borders do whatever you need to do yes debbie piecing is definitely one of my favorite parts and and free motion quilting i was pretty afraid of it at first but i'm getting so much better at it that now i kind of like it a lot you go debbie you're a rebel you maniac yes i am also a rebel i just I want to have a chance to use my creativity. Sometimes it's hard to come up with original ideas, but um, it's it's that's the best. Debbie's a rebel. Elaine, she's on a mission to finish some UFOs. Emily, a UFO is an unfinished object. Uh, however, I just saw your tutorial on the confetti quilt, and now I'm feeling inspired to start making that quilt too. Um, Elaine, let me tell you, you can do that in a weekend for sure. Like I had that tutorial done in a week. I mean, filmed, edited, everything. And I just quilted it yesterday or last night. So yeah, you can, you can do that very easily over a weekend. That, I think that'd be a great quilt to take to like a, um, a what do you call it when everybody gets together? Uh, quilting retreat. Yes, a retreat. Yes, oh yeah, Donna Jordan, so close. I have a lot of um, my quilts, quilt tops from tutorials that I have yet to be quilted. And so I need to get busy and quilt some of those. Yeah, that's for sure. So anybody else have any questions for me? I am happy to answer them. What can I do better in my tutorials? That might be a, a productive thing. I try not to do a lot of talking. Other than, um, you know, just a short intro. And I know some tutorials uh, from other people talk a lot. But when I, I'm guilty of when I watch those, I just kind of, I just kind of skip past that part. Uh, Julie asked, can you give us three skills we need to improve our quilting skills? That is an excellent question. I would say learn 
to quilt with your domestic machine and practice, practice, practice. And because you will save a lot of money from sending it to the long armor for sure. Um, another thing I would say is practice. I don't want to say practice being perfect because I don't believe in perfectionism. I believe that we're all human and that, um, but I would, I would say that's a hard question. Now I'm trying to think, okay, free motion quilting, um, learn to design your own quilt, try to design your own quilt. And even if you just switch blocks around in a different way and, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that some more. Do you quilt your projects on a domestic machine? Yes, Elaine, I do. I quilt everything on this machine right here. And I have only sent two of my quilts ever out to a long armor. And um, I think I picked the most expensive long armor uh, in the world because it was like $200 for two lap size quilts. <laughs> and I thought, I can't afford to be a quilter if I'm going to do that. So I took a class on free motion quilting from the same person. And uh, the class was cheaper than it was to quilt my quilt. And then I just practiced. I just put, um, I just took a layer cake and sandwiched it and just started practicing, practicing, practicing. So, um, and some of my first quilts that I, that I machine quilted are awful, but you know, the people who got them didn't care. They didn't notice it, that I didn't do a very good job. So that's okay. Practice makes progress. Yes, Diana, that's way better than saying practice makes perfect. I love that. I love that. Thank you, Debbie, for the nice, the nice words. That's nice. Um, do you do any template quilting? Um, do you mean like putting down a template and tracing over the template and then following those lines? I have one time. I've done that one time for, for big corners, big open corners that I had of a quilt. And if that's what you mean, I, I have done that one. I don't own any templates really. Um, I am... The next thing I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start to do some um, ruler work with my quilting. I had a hard time finding a, a ruler foot for my machine that worked with my machine. So I finally went to actual brother, which is what my machine is a brother pace setter. So I went to, I went there and um, actually got the, the foot I need. So now I'm going to start practicing with my ruler work. And so that's my next thing I want to work on aside from learning to write a pattern. Um, let's see. Do you need to... I love to design my own blocks. I enjoy the process, says Diana. I would love to take a class on free motion quilting on a domestic machine. Yeah, and I was really lucky that there was a place nearby where I could take a class. And we just practiced E's and L's, just moving that fabric, and um, you just get better and better at it. Pinterest has a lot of um, cool quilting designs. And I just, what I do, I'm going to show you what I do, is I, let's see if I can find it. I practice like this on graph paper. So I practice quilting designs just with my pen and pencil, different things. And I just doodle on paper. And so I think, well, can I do that on my machine? Yeah, I think I can do that on my machine. So that's what I work on. And so I, um, one of these is the one I ended up doing on the border of this quilt. So that was pretty fun. Do you have plans to purchase a long arm? <laughs> oh my gosh, in my dreams, in my dreams, Julie. Um, one, they're pretty expensive. I would love to learn how to use one and they're very expensive. But the thing that's really holding me back from getting one is I just don't have a lot of space in my house for one. So, I mean, we have a four bedroom home, but the rooms are pretty small. And so um, I keep teasing my husband that um, I'm going to turn our master bedroom into my quilting studio. And then we're going to use this room as our master bedroom. But he doesn't really like that idea so much. 
<coughs> excuse me, or I would turn our living area into a quilting studio. That way I could fit a long arm in there and then we can use this little room as our TV watching room. So yeah, until I'm a widow and get a huge um, inheritance from a rich relative or something like that, I don't think I'll be able to afford a long arm at this moment. Do you have a favorite um, fabric manufacturer or fabric designer? That's a good question. Um, I really am preferent. I really like Michael Miller fabrics. I'm kind of a fan of Michael Miller fabrics. Um, as far as a specific, specific fabric designer, I don't think so. Um, I'm kind of like, I think it was Diana who's the rebel, or maybe it was Debbie, I can't remember. Who's the rebel in my group? Who did we decide that that was? Oh, that's Debbie. Debbie's the rebel. So here's my thing. If something's super popular, like K Facet, I don't want it. <laughs> so you'll see none of my tutorials have any K Facet fabric in it because if yeah, Debbie, you're the rebel. You're my you're my sister in crime, I can tell right now. So if yeah, if something's super popular, same with like clothing trends or things like that, like I will on purpose pick sometimes the ugliest stuff because I know nobody else is going to have that. And so that may be a character flaw. I just don't go for the trendy. I go for, I go for what I like. And so, um, and I think sometimes in a lot of quilt shops, K facet is more expensive than other stuff too. So yeah, this is too wild for you, Debbie. Really? Now, I don't know. I thought you were like some maniac that was all wild and crazy. So maybe you're not. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Diana says, for baby quilts, especially six and a half inch blocks for our comfort quilt program or our quilt club, I use, I just serpentine on the diagonal across the blocks. Yeah, that's just an easy way to do it. That's a great way to even get started on learning how to use your machine to quilt. Trendy equal overpriced. Yes, ma'am, that is so true. Oh, there's two different Debbies here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny debbie one and debbie two there's debbie m and debbie h that's really funny so anyway i love it i love it y'all are fun this is a fun group i love it super funny so yeah basically we all quilt except my moderator emily's my moderator she does not quilt um but emily say hi to everybody please Emily is my beautiful, beautiful daughter. And uh, if Emily's still on, but uh, oh, Marie, congratulations. You paid off your long arm. Oh, God love you. Yeah. Yeah. Emily is my daughter. She is, uh, she is amazing. She's an amazing mom. And uh, she's an amazing daughter. And she maybe she left already, I don't know. But uh yeah. She's she's very cool. Um, yeah, very cool. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and get to know my people. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily almost became not quilt worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I gifted Emily with a quilt. And she's she says, Thanks for the blanket, Mom. <laughs> she almost never got another one. Yeah. Bad Emily. Bad. Bad daughter. I thought, well, if I can't give a quilt to my daughter. Yeah. That's the only quilt police thing that I'm like kind of a stickler about. It's like if you want a blanket, you can go to Walmart and buy a blanket. A quilt is different. No, at least she didn't use my scissors to cut paper. <laughs> I love it. That's so funny. Yeah. I'm, I would have to put her up for adoption if she did that. <laughs> Emily, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. You're my only daughter. You're my bestie. She's an awesome girl. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So I just really wanted to come on and get to know my people, get to know my tribe. And I wanted to introduce the memberships. And I can't really see if anybody has uh, joined the membership or not. Um, but I just wanted to put it out there because um, this is what I do for a living. And any, any support is awesome. And um, it just really means a lot to me. And I just want to have um, I want to have this, uh, I want to have this group, this, this camaraderie. I want to have this tribe of quilters where we all just get to know each other and we have a good time. Um, let's see, where did I see a question? Um, Girkan, thank you for doing this. You're so welcome. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, Julie, how long, says, how long have you been quilting? I started quilting in 2008. And uh, my grand, both of my grandmothers were quilters, and my mother is a quilter. And I thought, um, if I don't learn how to do this, um, nobody else's this this tradition is gonna just die. And I wasn't sure if I would like it, but um, I tried every other craft possible, and I didn't really. I mean, I was good at most of them, but I just they were kind of a one and done thing. So once I did it, I just had no desire to do it again. But quilting was different. Like once I made my first one and which didn't turn out very good, but, and I still have it and it's not finished because it's terrible. But um, I thought I can do this and I like doing this. And I want to try this. So that I've been quilting since 2008 and I started doing it full time in July of 2021. Um, let's see. Elaine says, I made my daughter a flannel rag quilt and to tell me she loves her blanket, just let it go <laughs> because I'm so thankful she loved it. Yeah. But you know, if you can't, you know, serve and correct, you know, like the grammar police, you serve and correct, right? Um, oh, Debbie, please explain again. So down below this live stream where it says, um, subscribe. Right next to that is a join button. So you can press that join button on my, or, or it's on my channel or below any of my tutorials. There's a join button. And once you hit that join button, you get a little video of me explaining all the tiers and, and levels of membership again. And then um, you can choose which one. And just, I should disclose this too, out of full disclosure, that um, with these membership prices, um, YouTube gets 30% of that and I get 70% of that as revenue. So if you sign up for the $2.99 one, basically um, I will get $2 of that. So that's kind of how that works. So I just wanted to have full disclosure with that too. So that kind of um, explains. Emily says she sleeps with her quilt every night and she loves it. Aw, Emily, you just warm a mama's heart. Thank you. She's the best daughter ever. She's my favorite daughter for sure. She's my only daughter. I have two sons too. One older than her and one younger than her. You should have put quilt and bold letters. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway. Does anybody else have any questions? Anything you want to talk about? Um, I was going to talk about something, but I forgot. I don't usually talk this much. I can kind of feel myself getting hoarse. It's weird. Uh, working from home, I don't talk to um, people very much. I I have two dogs that are um, super annoying. They are uh, Yorkies and um, and what I call them dorkies, but they're Yorkies. One is a Yorkie and one's kind of a Yorkie poodle, like a Yorkie poo. And um, their names are Fanny and Samson. And um, they are, they're stalkers. Like they constantly stalk me. And I'm normally not a dog person, but I kind of like these two. These are pretty good. Um, Brett Keen, official God TV radio, would love to chat with you. Well, you can chat right here. Here we are. Um, I always tell my daughter, she's my favorite daughter. She's the only girl also. <laughs> yes. 
see, but you know, it still feels special. Anytime I call my dad or mom, you know, I tell them it's your favorite. Here I am. I'm talking to you. I'm calling you. Cheryl, you're the only one in your family that quilts. Wow. Speaking of uh, other children, DJ, who's also on here as a, a moderator, that's Emily's younger brother. And y'all, today is DJ's birthday. So happy birthday, DJ. You are awesome. So everybody wish DJ a happy birthday. Yeah. Brett Keane, official God TV radio. I prefer my mic. <laughs> well, do you have your own live stream? That would be awesome. Are you a quilter, Brett Keane? Official God TV radio? <laughs> DJ, happy birthday. You're awesome. Brett Keane. I've heard of you, I think, maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. Look at all these, this birthday love you're getting, DJ. DJ is my favorite youngest son. He is, he's 35 years old today. I hope you don't mind me giving your age, DJ. But yeah, he's such a good kid, you guys and girls. He's such a good kid. All my kids are good. <laughs> Emily, I love you, Danny. All right. More like happy birthday day to you, Suze. Happy birthing, birthing day. Yeah. It's, it's the birthing day, 35 years ago, 1988. Oh, my gosh. So anything else you all want to talk about, want to discuss, any questions you want to ask? Um, I'm grateful for everybody. I just want you to know that. And um, just wanted to let everybody know about the membership possibilities. And um, that will be ongoing. Hopefully you have found the button if you're looking for it. And it just helps to support me. It helps to support my channel. And I think the perks of uh, that I've put up for the different tiers of membership are, are quite nice and quite fair. And um, and what, Diana, I think the moms should get a gift on their child's birthday. They did all the work. <laughs> Amen, sister. I agree. We should all thank our moms on our birthdays because they're the ones that did the hard work. That, that might, I think that's a good tradition. Let's, let's start that. Let's make that happen. Yeah, Debbie's in agreement. So, um, yeah, so I just want to, tell everybody how grateful I am. My channel went from nothing, like starting from scratch, and it has just blown up over the last year and a half. And I'm just so happy and so grateful that I get to do what I love and that I get to share it with everybody else. And so um, that just, that, I mean, it sounds super corny, but that fulfills me and that just makes me happy. And, um, and my kids can tell you that it's all I ever really want to talk about. So, <laughs> and um, they know how excited I get. And so I just want to share it with the world. And I, I want to start this quilting family. That's what I'm excited about. So I want to get to know everybody. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Unless uh, there's something that anybody else wants to talk about or any questions you want to ask me. I love, uh, I loved getting to know everybody on this chat so far. So, um, and if you're watching the replay, um, same goes for you. I'm, I'm, I'm just really grateful for your support. So thank you so much. So, um, if anybody else has anything to say, say it now, otherwise we're going to end this live broadcast and, uh, I'm going to start cutting my binding for this thing. And like I said, I'm going to do a flange binding on this and I'm going to do a tutorial on it. So, all right, everybody. So I'm going to sign off. Sue's from Revelation Quilts signing off. Um, oh, Kim. Yeah, I don't have a regular chat time, but um, we will do regular live chats with the memberships.
So uh, with the 299, the lowest tier membership. So yeah, we're gonna I will have regular chats with the 299 a month membership. And so there's no obligation. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't want to do it, that's fine too. I call it a tribe because every person should have a tribe of people that they do life with. And so I want there to be a quilting tribe. And it's just a, a good way to say like a community or a group. So that's why I say, um, that's why I call it a tribe. Toodles, Debbie. Awesome to have you on. Thanks for the chat. Good night. Good night, Doe. Love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.